Hi, my name is Faith Peabody and I'm a student at Oxnard Hill High School. Hey, um, my name is Zuri and I've been playing Diddy in my entire life. To me, video games are like a portal to a whole new world, introducing me to new people. Creating experiences, bonds, and memories that are cherished and will be looked back on. And they've helped me to just, I've made so many friends. I have friends all over the world, basically. Made so many friends. I can you know, interact with people better. Video games have brought me and my friends closer together and have helped me create new friendships with, and connections with people that I didn't even know I would get along with. <laughs> Yeah. different cultures and types of people and I met people that have my same interests like we play the same video game because I met them through the video game I'm playing so yeah we play both competitively and just for fun and even though things can get heated sometimes we always look back and end up laughing at the memories that we created <laughs> with people in my school and with people all the way to the UK because of video games and because of these games that we play I was able to make connections with people farther than just online as we can see we underestimated the power of video games so we wanted to come together to celebrate the milestones that gaming has reached and show all of you what it's truly about Cherished and we would be looked back on. Again, because I met them through the video game I'm playing. You were like up close. Sight, sight, sight. Seven, seven. You flash. Good job. Oh. Welcome to the DMV Blitz. All right, hopefully my past self made that enjoyable for you guys. And my name is Justin Graves, your host for today. Now I would like to officially welcome you to the first annual DMV Blitz esports event, hosted by the Patriots Technology Training Center. And what's that? Oh, apparently we actually have an opening statement from the president, Mr. Thurman Jones. Let's read it aloud. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome everybody today to the Patriots Nesby Jr. chapter, partnering with JK Elite Game Studios as we host this event today. I am very excited about the partnership and the event because you are going to get a treat to learn about sim careers in the esports industry and participate in a special tournament to win cash gift cards. Enjoy the event, and I wish everyone good luck on the tournament. You're very well said, Mr. Jones. Now then, an event like this is a huge undertaking, which is why it could not be done without the precious volunteers and staff that we have. In fact, they would like to say a few words to those of you watching at home.
Thanks, Justin. We can't wait to show those of you at home what's in store. And now, we get to you what you've been waiting for. So how do we even get to where we were today? Well, we have to go a bit back in time for that. How far? That's right, the 1970s. This featured the first unofficial esports tournament at Stanford University as players competed in the game Space Wars. However, it would soon be surpassed in 1980s by a 10,000 competitor Space Invader tournament sponsored by the one and the only Atari. Of course, after being sponsored by one of the biggest names of video games at the time, esports soon hit the entertainment industry, including a new TV show form in the 80s with the title of Starcade. But the prizes and the household name would soon continue to rise as Nintendo themselves stepped into the fray. With what? Well, in their tournament, not only did they have a $10,000 prize pool, but the players besides the $10,000 won a TV and a convertible car. That raised the stakes even higher for esports. But of course, after that, there had to come regulation. And that came in the form of the Korea Esports Association, which was founded in 2000. Which, fun fact, they set the milestone for the industry becoming an official sport. This time, while well, with StarCraft, released by the one and only famous Blizzard, which released two years earlier, so that way, the association could compete in a tournament of that. And that was just for Korea. The first international tournament arose with the World Cyber Games, which was succeeded two years later with what most people know now as MLG. For the time being, esports still stayed stagnant until the Real Blast came in 2012 with the hit game, League of Legends. League of Legends Season 2 World Championship actually had the biggest prize pool for any esports tournament at the time and possibly all time. That prize pool totaled to around $2 million, with the grand prize being $1 million, and in fact, had over 8.2 million viewers that watched the online stream of the tournament. This made it the most watched esports event of all time, which actually ended up setting the community ablaze. In fact, because of that, in 2013, the esports industry and all of its tournaments actually became recognized as an Olympic sport. That's right. An Olympic sport. Since then, the esports industry has continued to grow with it creating TV shows, music videos, careers, and of course, the games. Some of the most popular games that we have seen in esports so far include, but aren't limited to, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, League of Legends, Overwatch, Fortnite, the Madden and 2K games, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Rocket League, Valorant, and many more to come. The esports industry is currently marked at earning over $1 billion in net worth as of 2020, as it becomes the biggest form of global entertainment that we have so far. However, esports has also found a way to give back as we move forward with people and individuals creating multiple charity streams of esports tournaments so that, that way we can actually help out those that have helped us. Of course, esports has grown exponentially, not just in its entertainment value, but also how it has changed the entire gaming industry, especially as it becomes intertwined with the areas in the sim. And where else would be would be a better place to find it than the development of these games that have become so popular? In fact, let's talk to two local game developers who, have, who are currently in the process of creating their own games. Hey, you guys are talking to me again. That's pretty awesome. Um, as you guys already know, my name is Justin Graves. However, although I am your host, I am also the lead developer at JK Elite Game Studios LLC, which is partnered with the Patriots for this event. And with the way that esports blew up, it definitely paved the way for us to be able to make our mark here. Um, let's see. So we started out originally just doing simple game stuff in 8th grade, but didn't really become serious about it until 10th grade. In which case, we didn't real our team realized we have no idea what we're doing. However, by that time, esports had actually become so big that now you have things like game engines, such as Unreal Engine, being free now. And that just helped us out in so many ways, because now you have a whole community 
that can just come out and just help each other try and grow because as long as the games keep coming, more the more esports can actually grow. And it's amazing to be able to use things like Unreal Engine or Blender and actually just learn how to use coding or 3D design and all these ways that will just provide people with the entertainment and a personal story to them. As Justin said, esports has uh, made a very positive impact on our company, especially me. As I'm a computer science major going off into college, I need things to help me with my career choices. And this, that, this extracurricular definitely helps me um, increase my skills. Things like Blender and Adobe, they all use some kind of technology software. They all have some kind of math involved in it and it helps me become proficient overall. All right, thanks past me and past Aldrin. Anyway, of course, esports, if it's not about the games, then it's about the players. In fact, let's take a look at two local streamers B B B B B. All right, enough droning on you guys. Of course, you all came here for the main event. So here we go. Here's the entire rundown of the DMV Blitz. The entire event will take place on December 5th from 11 a.m. all the way up to 5 p.m as 10 teams of two to three players will be competing in a double elimination style tournament for the ultimate prize. $100 for each player of the winning team and $50 for the running up team per person. However, some of you might not have ever played Valorant before, which is where this comes in. Let's take a look actually at a pre-event match that was done. Area. What the fuck, dude? Placing Guys, trade that. Dude, what the fuck? Last trade that. Holy shit. Die. What? what? One enemy remaining. You got this. You're chilling. I have the Hopefully, I gave you guys enough of an idea. And if you want to know what it'll take to compete, Here's actually the specs that you'll need to run Valorant.
The target age for this tournament is going to be 14 to 18 years old. So for those of you in high school, go ahead and grab a couple of your friends, get some practice in, and then sign up for the tournament. The current competition admission cost is going to be $5. The default map will be, for this tournament will be Ascent and to determine attackers and defenders. We don't need to because it'll already be set up for you guys. And don't worry about trying not trying to miss anything because guess what? If you sign up, we'll always have constant communication as well as sending out a resource guide for the best tips and tricks in order to become pro at Valorant really quick. But of course, that's not the only thing we have in store for you guys, is it? No. So for those of you who are in the younger audience or older audience or just not interested in trying to compete, we actually have other events for those of you who want to. One of those is actually a video game design challenge. So those of you interested can sign up in the team in order to create a small proof of concept video game level based off of these following categories. From there, your games will not only be judged by a panel of judges, but during the event in half times, we will actually show off your games in IRD build or the five minute video you send us of how the game works. But we still have one more event to cover. And that one would be our video documentary challenge. Those of you interested can sign up individually to create five to 10 minute videos based off of these three esports prompts. And from there, your videos will of course be judged and shown during the event that will be live streamed here on the Patriots YouTube channel. Those of you who will sign up will actually receive a resource guide to assist you with all of the tutorials, software, and more to make the best video possible. Speaking of resource guides, how are you even going to get these? There will be one registration form that will have all the competitions ready for you to sign up. From there, within a week, you will have all the access you need. Once again, the admission fee will be $5. In order to find the registration form, check out these social media pages, as well as the description above. Or the social media links and our website below right now. Now then, before we go actually, we have a few words from the President of Patriots once again to close us out. <coughs> well, well, well. I trust that everyone had a great time today and that you learned a lot about the esports industry. A big good luck to all the competitors and our participants for this event. And a big, big thank you to all the volunteers and staff that took a lot of time out of their schedules to help us plan and make this event as best as it can be. Especially for volunteers from Oxenho High School. We owe all of you a lot. Go ahead and be sure to continue to check out our pages and our website for updates about the, about the tournament as well as the games. We actually have more to come, so check your stuff for all the announcements. Have a great day, and we will see all of you on December 5th. Mr. Thurman Jones. Very well said. Now, it's time for the moment of truth. And now, we give to you what you guys have been waiting for. A special announcement and a special trailer. As the first annual DMV Blitz season has begun. B B B B B. Go. Games have given us so much. Hey. Yeah. But most importantly, it's given us the opportunity. Oh, man.
above. They're planning. An opportunity to rise. Je suis froid, un peu différent. Tu continues de.